Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am your host, Mary Ellen. This is an episode of Trovember, which is hosted by Kelly at collagelab.com. And it is a month long make a collage using random prompts. Today is day 21, two, 21, two, 22. Uh, let's use a pencil because all the other ones have been pencil. 22. And it is, uh, uh, how did she put it? Um, something that you would take to a desert island. So, um, desert island luggage, not luggage, take along. So this prompt, I do not like. Um, we will get into it. So what don't I like about it? it there are far too many uh, questions left unanswered. Am I stuck on the desert island? Is it going to be there for a two week stint? What else is on the island? Um, her response was to put on a pet. And if we're going to be stuck there, I think a pet could be impractical because I think she put paws down, which are cats. Um, I might want to get something that hunts. I don't know. So there's just a lot left to interpretation and far too much interpretation for my like. So uh, we were successful last time at taking a magazine and flipping through until we found something. Same um, magazine type different month. This is July. So this is the month either after or before. And so it's got beaches on it. So I'm thinking an island. You'd have something. So what would you take? Like, oh, I would take Adam Savage. I would take Jamie Heineman. I would take Bear Gryllis. Um, those would be the things that I would take because I probably could survive depending on where the island is i mean we're assuming island is is a deserted island tropical you could be stuck somewhere in the cold antarctica is sort of an island greenland is an island they're not deserted so uh i am i am fraught with fraughtness a boat. That would be good. I don't know how to sail worth beans, but I think if she had said something that you find on a desert island, that would be helpful. But I think a boat. Like I'm purely in, in survival mode thinking here, not at all luxury or um, pleasantness. You can tell by my voice I am well irritated. A frog would be fun. It's not what I would take. So like, what if that's the island? A pair of golf clubs? A set of golf clubs. Oh, I don't know. Taking a umbrella, like shells, you'd be able to, oh, couch, sorry, that was yesterday. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I have this thing now for looking at couch pictures. Ends of an afternoon tea. Uh, warning for everyone, Gracie's awake and she is cruising. Scuba gear. Also practical. But I don't scuba. I don't scuba. I don't sail. I don't do a lot of water sports. So clearly the getting onto a deserted island. First thing I want to do is survive. Second thing I want to do is leave. Leave. 
And now I'm wondering, did she even say deserted? She must have said deserted. Because that was clearly what I heard. She's the, um, uh, she's a presenter of history, I think. Dr. Lucy Worsley. Yes. She's uh, fun. She's got YouTube episodes that are really quite entertaining. She has, um, she's able to create a great deal of empathy for the people that she is talking about. And she's clearly thought a lot about them and as, ooh, candles would be fun. I already got a candle, but there's not a candle would be good. That's a lovely piece of furniture. Uh, I've sort of done candles. Oh, implements. Like a good knife, a good machete would also be helpful. Those strawberries look lush. Who is it? Somebody I know is doing... Jennifer. I should take these out and send these to you. But not that one because it's a knife. There. First aid kit would also be handy. Mosquito netting. Again, I am thinking we are in the tropics somewhere. <gasps> bring an, like, not a, bring an animal, but not bring a, um, a domestic animal. Bring a, an animal animal, like a sheep. Sheep would be super handy. Love those sheep. Hmm. Uh, paper and pencil. That would be another nice thing. Oh, this is nicer. Nicer boat, maybe. Got a better background. So we've got two boats and a knife. Oh, I should bring my glasses. There's more sheep. Let me pots. That's the best one. So what makes for a good boat picture? Something that isn't white. So we have upgraded significantly from this white, which is just gonna land as white and be a big blob of white. So we'll get rid of that. This, it's got an interesting shape to it. We'll keep that for a bit. See if we can find something else. Life jacket would be handy. Do I say pencil and paper? Pencil and paper. These are also really nice. They're also pointed in the right direction. Because I think putting a boat there would be fun. etc 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 
there's that I'm gonna call it that it's going I'm gonna think of that now as a classic couch photograph just the one half now I'm sort of zipping along I think I've kind of made my choice that it's gonna be a boat unless there's something better that just jumps out at me Ooh, supper's on the shore mmm -hmm. that it's also what I would take with me fire A knife in a boat. I feel like that might be sort of a joke. Okay, so um, let us do these two. And with the idea that we are going to eliminate one at some point. Yeah, the red one's got to stay. The red one's the better one. And so that's going to... Go up like that. There. What's it called? Provider. Oh, well, that's a good name for a boat. Um, where do I want this? Kind of like that. Okay. And where do I want this? There might be fun. Put it up there. Pop it up there. I'm running out of space. Just think is what is expected when you get to the end or close to the end. And where's the knife? Why do I have to put in all three? Apart from the fact of that's who I am as an individual. It just, it doesn't feel like a complete answer. If I have to pick just one thing. Where's my F? Here's my F. Okay, those two can stay where they are. 
feel like this should be a little bit smaller. just so that I can move it around easier. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be all right. Or I can do something like that. And I will cut that, and I will cut that. Or that. Okay, let's do that. Um, I need to do the R. all the way to down there. I kind of need to cut that one too. There. Okay, so let's place that again. enough. Okay. There's that. Uh, next is my knife. Come on, be get, up you get. Uh-oh, we just lost the orientation of the boat. There. And where do we want the boat? Do we want it kind of like that? I think we could go higher if we wanted. Uh, I have a finger full of glue now. Hang on. So this is fiddly biddly. And that would be the technical term for cutting off some of these guy wires. Okay, that's, yeah. So as long as I've got a 
A start. That should be enough. That would be so cool if I could just cut those two bits out. Mm. So I need to cut that. I need to get rid of that white little bit there. gonna really give it the room that it needs. Sweet! Okay, done. What a goopy mess in here. So how does this, how do I want to put this down? Like that. Okay. On the back end. That went all wrinkly really quickly. Not sure I'm a big fan of that, but there we are. There's our hat. Okay, so that's day, what, 21, 22? I think it's 22. And it's uh, what I would take to a deserted beach. I would take a boat, I would take a knife, and I would take fire. And I think I am rather happy with my choices. Just plunking some of this stuff away. So we have our aisle already cleaned up. Uh, don't need that, don't need that. And there we are. So I think we are done. Day 22. This time for real. This time I mean it. Yeah. Whew. That is all for now. I will talk to you uh, probably tomorrow to see what else we can cram on this uh, page. I think I like it though. I think I do. Some white space there, white space there, a little of space up here, and here, and here, some here. Yeah, good enough. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you as always for watching and subscribing and commenting. Bye now.